Hi folks, John here from Camp Falakwa and I wanted to share 90 seconds of nature with you today. It is a beautiful winter day here at Camp Falakwa. The cold snap has finally eased off and uh, it's beautiful. So I'm outside just in a hoodie and vest. It's perfect. Um, I'm down here by the river because I wanted to show you a plant that has been doing really well in this area lately. And that is this bunch of willows around me here. Now, of course, you can't see leaves on these. They're not actually, they're dormant right now. They're just waiting for spring to come. But the, what we can see really well right now is the berries on this plant. So we've got, this is called wolf willow or silverberry. And that's because, yeah, you guessed it, it grows silver berries. Uh, the reason I'm interested in those today in particular is that inside of a silverberry berry is a seed. And the seed is a beautiful, it's kind of like striated, it's like star-shaped if you look at it from the end. Uh, and, and it's just a gorgeous little piece of kind of woody material. And I found somebody who makes jewelry out of those. Uh, so I'm interested in collecting a few of those. I'm going to dry them out and see if I can drill a little hole through them and maybe make a bracelet from them. I think it's a really cool idea. Um, anytime you collect anything from plants, what I am going to do is move around and take it from lots of different plants and not just pick on one because those are the seeds that help the plant to grow and recover uh, as it moves into the uh, new year. Uh, these plants in particular have done a really cool, a great job of reclaiming this space. Uh, before I started here, and that's a long time ago, 15, 16 years, before that, uh, this area was actually an old growth spruce area, for, forest area, and those trees were logged and used for lumber. Uh, and so these willows, just in the last couple of years, have really started to take off in this area and do really, really well. The beavers are quite fond of it because it's a food source for them. And I've actually started to see deer beds down here along the river, which I hadn't seen up until the last few years. Uh, so it's creating a habitat for those kind of critters, for deer and for beavers and those kinds of things. Um, yeah, so a very cool little plant that's growing down by the river. Uh, hopefully I'll get to show it to you sometime real soon. I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. And I hope you enjoyed 90 Seconds of Nature.